Welcome back to Save the Earth. Today, we're talking about something we can't live without, air. But what happens when the air we breathe becomes toxic? Air pollution is one of the biggest threats to human health and the environment. But where does it come from? What are its consequences? And most importantly, how can we stop it? Let's find out. Air pollution is the presence of harmful substances in the air we breathe. These pollutants can be natural, like volcanic ash, but the majority come from human activities. They contaminate the air, posing serious health risks to all living beings. There are several types of air pollutants. One, particulate matter, PM. Tiny particles suspended in the air, including dust, soot, and smoke. The smaller they are, the more dangerous as they can penetrate deep into our lungs. Two, carbon monoxide, CO a colorless, odorless gas produced by incomplete combustion, especially from vehicles and industrial processes. 3. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, released from burning fossil fuels, mainly from power plants and factories. It causes acid rain and respiratory problems. 4. Nitrogen oxides, NOx, produced by vehicles and power plants, leading to smog and respiratory issues. 5. Volatile organic compounds, VOCs, found in paints, solvents and vehicle emissions. They react with NOx to form ground-level ozone, a key component of smog. And finally, ground-level ozone, O3, harmful when present at ground level, causing respiratory issues and damaging crops. Air pollution comes from various sources, most of them linked to human activities. Vehicle emissions from cars, trucks and other vehicles release carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. Industrial pollution is another major source, with factories and power plants burning fossil fuels, releasing sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and other pollutants. Agricultural activities also contribute significantly. Pesticides and fertilizers release harmful chemicals. Livestock produces methane, a potent greenhouse gas. The burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas for energy releases significant air pollutants. Household sources shouldn't be overlooked either. Indoor air pollution from cooking, heating and cleaning products also contributes to overall air pollution. Lastly, natural causes such as volcanic eruptions, wildfires and dust storms are natural sources, but these are often intensified by human-induced climate change. Air pollution has severe consequences for both human health and the environment. Health impacts are significant with air pollution linked to respiratory diseases like asthma, bronchitis, and lung cancer. It also causes cardiovascular issues and premature deaths. The World Health Organization estimates that air pollution causes over 7 million premature deaths each year. Environmental damage is another serious consequence. Pollutants damage ecosystems, acidify water bodies, and harm wildlife. Climate change is driven by greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, which trap heat leading to global warming and extreme weather events. Damage to crops and forests is also a concern. Ground-level ozone damages crops, reducing agricultural productivity, and acid rain harms forests, soil, and aquatic ecosystems. Finally, the economic costs are substantial. Healthcare costs and reduced productivity due to air pollution-related illnesses significantly impact the global economy. We can fight air pollution with sustainable actions and policies. Here's how. First, transition to renewable energy. Switching to solar, wind and hydropower reduces dependency on fossil fuels. Next, promote clean transportation. Electric vehicles, public transport and cycling reduce emissions. Carpooling and walking are eco-friendly alternatives. Third, enforce environmental regulations. Governments must set and enforce strict pollution control standards for industries and vehicles. Fourth, Reduce waste and recycle. Proper waste management and recycling help reduce emissions from landfills and incineration. Fifth, afforestation and green spaces. Planting trees and creating green urban spaces help absorb pollutants and improve air quality. Lastly, public awareness and education. Educate people about the sources and impact of air pollution to inspire community action and behavior change. Your actions can make a big difference. Here's how you can help. Use public transport, cycle or walk. Reduce vehicle emissions by opting for eco-friendly transportation. Conserve energy. Use energy-efficient appliances and switch off lights when not needed. Support clean energy. Choose renewable energy sources for your home. Reduce, 
reuse, recycle. Minimize waste to reduce emissions from production and disposal. Raise awareness. Educate others about the effects of air pollution and inspire action. Air pollution is a global crisis, but together we can clean the air and save lives. Let's take responsibility and make sustainable choices. Our planet needs us now more than ever. Thank you for watching Save the Earth. Remember, clean air is a human right. Let's fight air pollution together. See you in the next video.